the empty pursuit of more. Greed. It wears like an invisible cloak, blending seamlessly into the fabric of modern culture. It silently seeps into our desires, clouds our judgment, and distorts our values. Greed always seeks more. More validation, more status, more comfort, more things. But the irony of greed is this. The more earthly possession, status, or validation we gain, the more we are left dissatisfied. In Luke 12, 15, Jesus warns how this illusion of fulfillment through relentlessly collecting more blinds us to true contentment and purpose and is an empty pursuit. Then he said to them, watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. True fulfillment doesn't happen when we store up possessions or pursue unending comfort. True fulfillment is found when we're anchored in contentment, gratitude, and in a deep relationship with God that leads to seeking His kingdom and righteousness. Where do you have endless cravings for more? More validation? More comfort? more possessions? Are there areas in your life where the constant pursuit of more might, might be overshadowing the pursuit of God's kingdom and his righteousness? Luke twelve thirty one says, but seek first the kingdom of God and all of the other things will be added to you, will be given to you. There's a saying that a lot of us have said, a lot of us would probably share on social media that says, the early bird gets the worm. But his word doesn't say that. His word says, seek first the kingdom of God. From the moment that you open your eyes in the morning to get ready to go to school, to get ready to go to work, seek first his kingdom, his righteousness. Throughout the day too and at night, seek for him. And then all of these other things, perhaps per, per, um, possessions, or our money or whatever you are needing the lord will give to you but we have to seek him first and remember all those earthly possessions that we are constantly obtaining are not coming with us when we leave to go with our father those will stay here on earth we won't take anything with us so instead of spending our time on greed and acquiring all of these possessions, earthly possessions, let's spend our time on heavenly possessions that we can take with us when we go to be with our Lord. So let us meditate on this word. And if there's greed in us, let's pray and ask God that he helps us to get rid of that greed, greed so that we can focus on pursuing God's kingdom and his righteousness. God bless you.